Hello everyone. I'm back. I'm Denise with Spiritual Growth Tarot and this reading is devoted to getting to the truth about Jared Kushner uh, and his um, what will be coming down for him or how will uh, how will it go for him basically. I'm going to use a, a Celtic cross with the modified um, position or not the positions but the meanings in the positions and I'll, I'll talk you through that as I go. But uh, I just did one on Don Jr. And it, so this one's devoted to, to uh, Jared. <laughs> and my question that I'm putting into the cards, uh, tapping into, my intention is to get inside the spiritual laws, the cosmic laws of truth, and understand what will, how will he be affected? How will Jared be affected? by this Volume 5 Senate Intel, you know, report on the 2016 Russian, you know, on the election that, um, with the Russian, Russian meddling, you know, and, and Trump's uh, campaign involvement. Um, so it's, it's the, it's called the Senate Intelligence Committee's Bipartisan Russia Report, if you want to look, look for it. But it's a thousand pages. Um, Glenn Kirshner has done a lot of videos on his YouTube channel, so you, there, or there's a few videos, or it looks like maybe two and a podcast. You can listen to those if you like. Uh, but basically, you know, it's about the collusion and the conspiracy, um, you know, to uh, to get to get dirt on um, Hillary Clinton to. Uh, you know, it's the oppo research, whatever. So I want to know, will Jared be indicted over this uh, collusion? Because he was named in the investigation. So the first card, so Jared, Jared, Jared. The forces in motion. The challenges. What he has control over. What he's actually done in the past. What is hanging over him, of which he has no control? His near future. What he's attracting. Others' influence over the situation. Or his reality, his uh, future. And then his distant future. And the outcome. And I also pulled the two cards off the bottom to add to the outcome. Okay, so. Let's get these framed up. Interesting. So the force is in motion. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands. His challenge is the Magician. What he has control over is the Death card. What he's done in the past is the uh, Eight of Wands. Wow. Okay. What is hanging over him that he has no control over is the Queen of Cups. Uh, his near future is the Eight of Pentacles. What he's attracting is the Four of Cups. Wow. Okay. Others influence. Queen of Wands. That's probably Ivanka. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, his distant future is the Chariot. His outcome is the King of Cups. Okay. And the, uh, the two cards to give us more information on the outcome are the Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit. Interesting. Okay. So, let's dive in. So the, the Force is in motion with the Four of Wands here. This... This, to me, I believe, is the um, actual campaign. Because this is an event card. 
Uh, but it, it's, it's also like his marriage and his home, you know, his community. So it's, it, it tells me that he's in, in, intricately, in, or integral, in, he's involved. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get my mouth working right. The words come through and I can't say them. He's, he's intricately involved in, um, in, in the organization of, of the, the campaign more than we know. Wow. Yeah, it, it, like, yeah, well, of course he would be because he's like the brains behind, he's the quiet kind of brains behind the whole family foundation. You know, and that's the service that he did for his, his, his father went to, went to prison. He might still be in prison, I don't know. His, his father was put away for years for his, I don't know if it's an actual like Ponzi scheme or whatever, but he was uh, indicted and put away for years and years, and I believe he's still in prison. And he and Jared took over for the family, probably under the direction of his father. He was probably in you know, close contact. But anyway, whatever his father taught him, I think he brought it through for the Trump organization. Wowee. So... In the, in, in the challenging position with the, the magician, this, this would be where he actually had some poor planning going on. This was not good planning for the family foundation, not for the organizational foundation. Um, he didn't really have the, you know, the power to do what he, he just, he, he it's, it's about manipulating but he he did it with poor planning. He didn't really have the the skills, you know, and the talents to do to organize in the way he should have. And you know, and maybe you just can't when it comes to working underhandedly in a dirty way. But okay, so what he does have control over is a big change, you know, a big change in his life. He could he could plea bargain somehow. I mean, how, how can you really say you have any control over, over death? You, you don't. It, except for if you choose to make a big change. You know, I mean, it, like if you, if you choose to make a big change in your life, there will be a, a death and a rebirth around whatever that situation is. And this, it, it's, uh, you know, a, could be a death and a rebirth over his position in the family. Wow. But I feel like this has to do with, you know, his resistance to change. Because how, how can he change? He's old enough now. Well, I, you know, he's not that old, so I suppose he could change. He definitely could have a transformation, transformational experience and transition into something better. But, uh, yeah, be, because he has, this is the position of what he does have control over, it is up to him whether, he, whether or not he wants to change. So I, I'm just going to leave that there. Now, what he's done in the past, I get intuitively, he's he was in charge of, of that, um, you know, back door to the Russians. You, you remember all the all the pings that were coming into the server into the Trump Tower, and I think he had control over that because of this card here and this card here. He he's done a lot. He's brought a lot in to the Trump organization. He's he's done a lot. This is tremendous. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's absolutely a lot. It's also, it's a lot of movement. It brings it in quickly. Um, it also has to do with, with, you know, air travel. So this could bring us into, uh, you know, overseas. 
even though I don't have those cards here, we know, I mean, you know, we, I don't need those cards because uh, we, we know he's very, very well connected over in the UAE. And with the MBS, he may have even a special type of relationship. Uh, he may have even helped bring in the, um, the death of Khashoggi. Wow. So, okay, so his, his near future is the Eight of Pentacles. So that has everything to do with, uh, you know, a lot of work. Uh, he might have trouble focusing because there's so much going on, but it has to do with his absolute engagement within the organization. So he might be the guy that tries to... Um, tries to get everything together because what he does not have control over is up here. I should have read this card first, sorry. It, it actually goes like this, one, two, three, four, five. I, I read in like a circular, you know, like a flow. But I screwed up because this card over here is what's hanging over him, of which he doesn't have any control over. And that is, to me, this card, you know, honors all that is sacred. And so he's he doesn't have any control over his... Uh, intuition in his psychic ability it, it's gone it's it's dead because of what he's done in the past he's lost it because he has to have he's involved in so much negativity that he has to have blind spots because that's that's the way spiritual law works if you're unconscious of your negativity it blinds you in other areas of your life so he doesn't have any control over compassion somebody having compassion for him and and you know his emotional security so i'm going to read this as if it were in a reverse position which would be or you know the the inverted uh, quality which which would absolutely be emotional insecurity and codependency over his over the family over the trump family and he does act that way he acts with as a very codependent individual And other things, all these other cards here tell me that there's not a lot of love coming through this guy. Not at all. So with, um, you know, and he's at all that engagement and, and there's the emotional insecurity. And then he's attracting an apathetic situation where he doesn't really care. He's attracting no one really caring about him. Because he, I don't believe that he has ever really cared about any of them. It's all been about money. It's all been about money. Now, maybe this was the way, like if you if you look at it on a soul level, you know, I believe that we choose our, our parents. So let's say, you know, he incarnated into his family to uh, to overcome the, the false belief that it's all about money. But his father has taught him it's all about money. He doesn't believe he deserves money you know, love just for him being himself. Otherwise, he wouldn't be involved in the, you know, in the Trump crime family the way he is. So there's this place of apathy here. And, you know, he again, I you know, I always think of Mary Trump's book that's, you know, too much and never enough when I see this card because that's, that's the way it is with the Four of Cups. You, you know, you... You're looking at, when you're in that place, you're being offered something else, but you're not even looking up at it. You're not looking up, you're not looking inward. You're looking down at, uh, you know, three cups that, uh, full of something that you don't want. So it's very, it's very apathetic. It's boredom, too, you know, when you're in this place. So he's attracting feeling, you know, bored, and, and it's his aloofness. It could be a missed opportunity. Like if these guys would all just flip and do a plea bargain on Trump, you know, if they would flip on the, the, the daddy of the whole organization, if he would get over his daddy issues and flip, then it, it could change the outcome. But I honestly don't see those cards here. But then again, maybe, you know, because the death card is such a big change and it could, it could change the whole, 
you know, he could be feeling like he doesn't have an opportunity. He doesn't know that there's the opportunity there. But when it comes down to it later on, I so how it's going for him is he has the opportunity to know that he has options and that he could flip. Now, others that are acting over him or that are influencing him, I think this is Ivanka. Because, you know, the Queen of Wands is often a blonde woman. If you, if you read the cards as being, you know, a, a, you know gendered, which I, I usually don't. But in this situation, this does feel to me like Ivanka. And uh, Ivanka, Ivanka, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. But... She, she may be speaking to him in a way that says, hey, what about our family? What about our kids? Don't you care about us? Or, you know, she might not be willing to go down for her father. And so, I, and I will do a reading on her later on. Uh, I've, I've done one. There's one there um, which was just looking into her future. But it's been a while, so I might do another one because of all this information that's come out about her husband. So... His distant future, she has great influence over him, but his distant future could have him trying to take off and travel. I mean, he's, his distant future shows a lot of will. The chariot is a, a strong-willed card, but it's always about, you know, getting out of duality and bringing, you know, the, the forces of duality together, which means you come back into the core of who you are, into your unitive self, and you work from your inner will. He doesn't do that. He works from his outer will, you know, it, it, just like the whole family does. They're not inner-oriented. They don't have a connection with their own, with their inner authority. They're not coming from their higher self. So I have to read this card as more of, um, you know, his willpower his determination. So he he might he might do he might flip. It's hard for me to say other than because of the outcome with the king of cups I, I still I feel like this is emotional manipulation. This is, I'm not saying this is like a, you know, a therapist or a doctor or somebody who cares or emotional intelligence. I, I'm not saying this is someone who's highly, you know, intelligent on the emotional levels, on the feeling levels. I'm not saying this is a very sensitive person. I, but he may become more sensitive after this ordeal. This may also be someone across the pond, you know, like, a, I'm not saying UK, I'm saying, you know, like over the ocean. Someone that might try to rescue him or say, you can come be with us. You know, this could be MBS. Because added to the outcome is his focus on the, you know, the, if I bring this together here, this is a, a man of luxury. A man of luxury where he can hide. So if anybody can take off and get out of Dodge, and if anybody could organize it, it would be him. So we'll just have to keep an eye on, on him. I, I'm not like with Don Jr., I don't see um, I don't see uh, you know the getting uh, the, you know the justice coming down as much. And in this one situation, it was Don Jr. that that uh, actually you know wrote the email and or received the email from that guy Emin, and and sent you know, a copy of it to his dad with a note on it that said, you know, Putin is offer, offering you a gift. That what that didn't happen through Jared. That happened through Don Jr. But Jared's got his own thing going on, and it's, it's all about the, you know, the financial 
luxuries. So this is interesting. I don't really have a, a for sure, the, for, for sure the way it's going to go will be a very transformative experience for him, but he doesn't really care for the things he should care for. And he very well may try to get away. Because in his distant future, uh, he, he may, this could be a lack of control and in, 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 in the travel to, to get away to where it's, um, you know what, let me use, let's, let's, let's put these away here. Let me use the laner mod quickly, let's see what other information I can get. I want to know if he's going to, is he going to get away with, um, if this intel report maybe won't come down so hard on him, is he going to get away with it? I want to know more about what, what will the income, the outcome, I'm sorry, be for him. What will the outcome be for Jared over this Senate intel? Russia collusion. I just got a. I, I just got a hit. The better thing to do would be to do. I'm going to do ten cards, and the top row will be devoted to what what he will do. Because uh, in the tarot reading, it looks like he does have some control. What he will do, and then what what will become of that because of what he does. Okay, so what Jared will do. Okay, and then what he will receive because of his actions. Okay. All right. So we have stars, the bear, the book, island, keyhole. Interesting. Okay. And then we have the bouquet, child, snail, mice, and the tree. Hmm. Okay. So what he's going to do with the stars and the bear here, this row again is what, what he will be doing. With the stars and the bear, I would say that it has to do with his goals, his, his financial goals are kept secret. What he's doing, he has plans and he's navigating from his financial wants and possible greed and, uh, you know, like, like the protection over his money. Right is th that's that's the true meaning there with the the bear's card, and for for that I would say it's secret. He's keeping it secret, of course. He has he has some he has some secret protection. Wow. Okay, so he's got some secret protection, and I'm not going to read this in the normal, uh, you know, no man is an island type of a thing where, you you know, your guidance is to reach out and not have to go it alone. I'm going to see this as navigating to a, an island or to an offshore, you know, type of a place. 
and it's you know with, with the the keyhole here that card has everything to do with you know a big change this this goes along with that the death card that we had down here uh, for his you know what he does have control over so it's endings and it's change and I uh, you know, he, there's doubts, and he's not sure if he can actually do it, but that doesn't mean he's not going to try it. You know, like an ending, and then you, you have to just go through the keyhole and close one door so a new one can open. Now, what he'll receive over that has to do with, because this is what he, he will, it looks most likely like he will do, you know, at, at, when the time comes. It, this could be him receiving a gift. This could be him receiving an inv invitation from whoever this is in this other country. And, and, uh, it's, it, this could be, yeah, this is a gift that's new. It won't go too quickly with a snail card here. Oh, and this is an extended deck. It's called the um, Golden Dreams. I don't know if you can see that. Taroko Studio Golden Dreams Lenormand, or Lenormand is really the way you pronounce it, Oracle Cards. I honestly don't know if it's available anymore. Uh, it, it actually came from Russia. So, how fitting, right? Anyway, <laughs> but I like it because the cards are oversized and it's easier for you guys to see. And then it has the extended cards, which are one of them is the snail and the other is the keyhole here in this reading. There's actually 44 cards in the deck. Back to him, what he will be receiving, what will happen because of what he's going to try and do to try and get away to this other country. He will have the invitation, a new, inv a new invitation, invitation, but it's uh, something where he can't go as fast as he wants. And there's there's a loss. And I would say it has a loss to his, his health. It creates a loss to his health. Because the mice with the tree, that, that's a, you know, really... The mice card is, is loss. It's... Um, you know, someone has stolen from you. It is, um, with a snail, it's like a slow eating away at your health. Yeah, so he has the gift, but it will affect his health. That's really interesting. So we're just going to have to see how this plays out. I don't really, you know, I, I, I can't say anything more than just a, a loss to his health. Now this card is also, the tree is also a karmic card. It has everything to do with the family. You know, like your family roots. So now, now if I play around with it that way, that makes sense. Is that the, um, it's a slow loss, like maybe even his children, because who knows if Ivanka would go with him. You know, I, I don't know if she will go with him or want to go with him or I'll have to do a separate reading on their relationship as time goes goes on. I have that on my list um, because they're, I, they have to be under great stress and whether or not she would go with him is a, a big question. But, that you know, that would change. Uh, that That could create health issues for him. But then again, I don't really know that he truly loves her because guys like him don't really know how to love, do they? Not at all. Not when it's all about the money. So, okay, that's that's all I've got on um, Jared. <laughs> okay, you guys, thanks. Be back later. Bye.